You've joined me today while we frame the Libra picture from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Welcome to Stone Magpie. The frame that I'm using is the third frame that I received from the company. There was a bit of a saga and I've popped all the details into the description box below. So please do check that out if you want to read about that story. Otherwise, sit back and let's do the framing. Firstly, I cover the table with an old towel and I use an old towel to make sure there isn't too much fluff that would then stick to the plexiglass. I get the frame and I put it face down on top of the towel and I have left the corner protectors on to make sure that they are not bumped throughout. I then start easing back the little tabs that hold the backing board into the frame. So I go around the whole frame, just lifting those up with my fingers. I then need to ease the backing board out and I use the end of my tweezers the rounded end and I just pop them under the board and ease the board gently out. So here you can see the end of the tweezers to ease the backing board out. After safely storing the backing board I then ease the mounting board out, turned it round to check the colour, check it was all okay and gently put it aside along with the backing board. Next we need to pull the flexiglass protector sheet from the first side and I pulled it from each corner into the middle to try not to touch that plexiglass as much as possible. So pop it all into the middle and then remove. I then eased the corner of the plexiglass to flip it over very carefully so not to scratch. and then repeated it to take it from that side too. If I needed to touch the plexiglass, I tried to do so right on the very edge so that I wasn't putting fingerprints all over it. So again, pulling the protective layer into the middle and removing it. I then got the Libra picture and popped it on top of the frame to check the size. I then removed the protective sheets from the top and brought the mount over to check the size. I then removed the mount, removed the picture, removed the frame and put the towel aside. I then brought back the Libra picture to make sure it was completely flat on the table, ready to fit the mount. I 
I lay the mount on top of the picture and mark with a pen where I need to cut. So I put a few marks all the way around as a guideline. I then remove the mount and using scissors I cut the canvas according to those guideline marks. I then bring back the mount and place it over the picture, making sure that all of the sides are correct. And then I press down over the sticky edge of the canvas to help stick it to the mount. I then use sellotape in each corner of the canvas and this is to provide a bit of extra support to the picture on the back of the mount. I then make sure that the picture is completely flat in the mount and place it on the backing board. I then return the towel to the table and lay the frame face down again. I then place the picture face down onto the frame and ease into position.
Once I'm sure that the picture is completely flat, I then return the backing board to the frame, place it into the position and start pressing down the tabs around each side to hold the backing board completely flat and in place. I then use the end of my tweezers again to firmly press down the tabs and I then do a little jiggly dance in celebration. Now let's see if I can lift it for you to be able to get a good view. The frame is a beautiful gold and silver frame which I think sets off the picture very nicely with the grey mount. I hope that you agree that it really does suit the picture and I will get a view from further away as well. I hope you like the frame as much as I do and thank you for joining me.